Okay, I've just bought this uh, router, Parkside router from Lidl. Uh, it's the first cheap power tool I've ever bought and it comes with a three year guarantee. Just open the box. Okay, so it comes with a selection of router bits, six, an attachment to put a uh, vacuum on there, a tool and another, I think that's another Hoover attachment, a few screws. Instructions, guide rail, and the router itself with a decent amount of cable. Also got two guide rods. Okay, the first page of the uh, instructions pulls out and it's got all the diagram for it. All the parts. Just uh, open the bag of bits. See what we've got in here. Okay, these were the bits that were in the small bag that came with it. Got a centering point, small Allen key, two screws, six millimeter chuck, the race spanner and an adapter piece for a vacuum okay this lever here at the back unlocks the router let's press down this is the trigger for setting it to go so first i've got to uh, attach some pieces to it this controls the depth Um, these two bits here for tightening the actual guide rails. Just going to put this guide rail together. Okay, optionally this centre race can be screwed into there. This optional dust extractor tool can be put in, screwed on, and you can attach a vacuum cleaner. These are the router bits that come with it. And they've all got an 8mm shaft and by using this chuck you can also use six millimeter shaft router bits okay i'm going to take one of the router bits and demonstrate how it goes in so there's a locking mechanism and then you can see the chuck by pressing that locking mechanism it allows you to undo the chuck, pop the bit in, got to go in at least 20 millimeters then tighten it, use the spanner tool to make sure it's tight, not going to come off, yeah and then let go and it moves freely again so now that bit is in 
that can be pressed down to their required depth and we can use this to step the different depths and work out the depths with this and tighten it up. This controls the speed of the router and this trigger puts the power on and off. So I'll give it a quick demonstration. Okay, I've uh, measured what I think is the right depth and uh, I haven't got the vacuum attachment on so I'm just going to give it a go on this bit of wood and see how I get on. start but not bad once I got the hang of it wasn't too happy how that last one went so I'm trying a different approach I've got it set up upside down in the table and I'm going to use this piece of wood as a, a guide to slide it through so if it works I can always get a cable tie with the uh, with the trigger Much better. It's a lovely finish. Perfect. This is the end result. Really happy with that. Decent. This is my second test trying to use the rod for freehand. This is my first little project that I made with the router and it's for putting a few saws on. 